Hello everyone, welcome to Special Angel Art Dolls. My name is Nicole and it has been a really long time, a really long time <laughs> since I have been here. And I am gonna talk about that in this video. But first, let me say, um, if you are here watching this now, thank you so much. If you are a longtime subscriber and you're watching, thank you so much. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. And if you are just coming, <laughs> thank you for stopping by. Um, so before I get into talking about where I've been and why, let me tell you about who you're looking at right now. This is Saren. This is Saren Ruth. She is the Margot Sculpt by Cassie Brace. She is 26 inches and she's about a six to nine month size. She can wear some three to six months. I think the outfit that she's wearing right now is actually three to six months. She's wearing this adorable little um, red and navy and white striped sailor dress with this adorable um, big bow tying the front of the collar. And um, over it, she is wearing a short red, I believe it's red, um, knitted cardigan. For those of you who don't know me, I am totally blind. Um, and Saren is actually my little blind baby. She was custom made with eyes that um, sort of resemble what mine look like. And I was born with a number of things wrong with my eyes. Um, just so many, <laughs> so many things. That would be a lot to go into. Um, but I always kind of wanted to have a reborn baby with eyes that were a bit like mine. And when I got Saren, that's what happened. So um, she is holding her little friend, her little lovey. Um, this is her little guide dog. Um, and I call this little dog Lainey after my precious Delaney, who was my ex-husband's guide dog and very much my baby. And I loved her very, very dearly. And um, she is passed away now. But this little sweet plush black lab with the guide dog harness is Saren's little special lovey. Um, it just seems very fitting that that would be her little her little plush friend. So she is all dressed for spring, and I chose not to put a headband on her or any socks or shoes because, I mean, come on, she just has the cutest little legs and feet which are kind of hidden by her dress. And now I've jarred the camera. There we go. But if I lift her dress up a little bit, uh, you might not really be able to see that. Anyway, she has really cute legs and feet. <laughs> I'm not going to mess her around too much. So she is sitting on my day bed. And um, this is in my bedroom. And I just wanted you to see how absolutely adorable she is. And I think that while I talk to you guys, I will show you um, maybe a couple of my other babies that are dressed for spring. So um, I will go grab another baby in just a minute. But I just want to say I'm really glad to be back. Um, there was a period of time when I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do this anymore. But, and I, I really haven't been here in either, you know, even just watching. I really haven't been here very much. I have occasionally, but I've mostly been a silent viewer um, while I sort of weighed in my own mind if I wanted to continue to do this. But now that I have decided to give it a shot. I'm really, really happy and excited about it. So um, I'm going to pause for one moment and um, get another little one who's ready for spring. Okay, here's my other little baby dressed for spring. 
Um, these aren't the only two, but they'll probably be the only two in this video. So here's my little Arwen. She is my little elf baby. Um, she is the Clara Kit by Shauna Clymer. And she is long sold out. Um, she's about 22 inches long on the body that I have her on. And she's lying here on these fluffy pillows with one of the little bolsters under her head. And she's snuggling with her sweet little white unicorn lovey. And she is, um, I see her as a, like a Tolkien elf from the Lord of the Rings. Even though her coloring is a bit darker than is typical for them. So her little unicorn is all white. So I've named her Nifredil after the, um, the white flowers that grew in Lothlorien for any Lord of the Rings enthusiasts out there, any fellow Lord of the Rings enthusiasts. So Arwen is wearing a long sleeve um, white onesie with colorful stars all over it. And then for her bottoms, she's wearing these adorable knitted shorts that are um, very lightly pink and white striped. And she has these little ruffled suspenders that go over her shoulders and button to fasten the shorts and her little legs and feet are, are free. So, um, so there she is in her little spring outfit, just sleeping peacefully and snuggling her little unicorn. So what's been going on with me? So I have moved. Um, I was living with my parents and I am now, um, I've moved to the mountains of North Carolina and I'm working you guys. I, I am, I have a full-time job finally. Some of you know that I've been looking for that for a really, really long time. Um, and I finally found one and I work in a good place with good people. It's a pretty rigorous schedule. Um, it's 40 hours, but it is four 10 hour days. So, you know, um, <laughs> it's been a big adjustment and um, I have two roommates where I live and they are the best roommates ever. Um, they also love Reborns and we have a lot of other things in common as well. Um, I've been friends with them for about seven years. So um, you will probably meet them and some of their babies in future videos, I hope, because that kind of brings me to, okay, what's the plan now? What am I doing? Um, my plan is to be here as I can and when I can. Um, probably not at all during the week. It'll probably just be on weekends. Probably no theme days. Um, probably pretty simple, mostly talking videos like this. Most of the time. Nothing that requires long hours of editing. But I miss sharing the babies. I miss sharing with um, the wider community. Um, for a while, as I was adjusting to my new job, and even before that, um, some of you know I was a caregiver to my grandmother while I was living with my parents. And um, that was just emotionally exhausting. Um, and then I moved and then I was working and I kind of questioned everything for a while. I mean, I thought, oh, I have no more time for my babies. Um, you know, I have so much else that, that needs my time. And I'm still a very busy person. That is definitely true. And, and honestly, it's a blessing after years of searching for work. So um, I'm not complaining about it by any means, but um, it does, 
mean that I don't quite know what things will look like, but I, I know that I do want to be here. And so here I am. And so um, for those who have stuck with me, thank you. For those who may be new, welcome and thank you also. Um, I hope that you all have enjoyed seeing these two little girls dressed for spring. My collection has changed a little bit since the last time I made videos, so I'll be sharing those changes in upcoming videos and introducing some new faces and also sharing um, a couple of name changes that have happened um, since the rest of my life has changed a great deal. But I'm, I'm looking forward to being a part of things, you know, as I can. So thank you all for watching and God bless, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye!